Yeah, Everyone. Kate and Toby still never got a honeymoon. <laughs> Who had a honeymoon? Nobody, no had, a honeymoon. Nobody. had a honeymoon. Nobody. He took out Jack's wife. Oh, oh. oh. Took her out to dinner. Nice date. Yeah. Wonderful day. What do you mean best crier? What what is like does that mean like <laughs> on cue? Does that mean war? Does oh, that mean come on. I, yeah. I just need Yeah, what's the criteria? criteria? What's the criteria? What's the criteria? Hello and welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table with the cast of This Is Us. I'm I'm getting a little wistful. Like we we at this point in time, we have 12 total days of shooting remaining. Don't do it. Don't do that. Uh, yeah. yeah you I'm gonna count. start crying. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> I'm like just on the precipice of keeping it. Going. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was talking to the cast. We were having this last family barbecue photo shoot, whatnot, and I said, I said, this is the last photo shoot. Yeah. Like this is the last <laughs> time that we'll probably get a chance to gather together in this sort of informal setting or whatever, and just kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, this is still a professional obligation. I hope to see you all outside of work. I mean, I was winning in cards, so <laughs> yes. that's I was present in the moment. I was. You won every hand. Yeah. Yes. I, out you of had all the pretzels. Hands, you yeah. lost. I won all the pretzels. <laughs> all the pretzels. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. I was coveting a hot dog. Yeah, yeah you were. I wanted a hot dog. Oh, I yeah. had one and it was delish. They were really oh, John good. Oh, John and I, Lady in the Tramp style, shared it. Did you? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 we were so hungry and they only brought one hot dog. Oh, and we won. Yeah. So we literally, I took one inch to the other end. <laughs> Should have been rolling on that. <laughs> oh, did they miss it? Did they, they miss it? Missed it. it. No. They missed oh. it. It was for us. Yeah. Then that's all. That's, that's all that matters. Right. That's gonna that's be your last hot dog. Yeah. Last last <laughs> hey, can I say something that sounds obnoxious that I can only say to you? Well, yes, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> if I do this thing, I'll win. Mom. If I run, I'll win. And if I win, I can't even imagine where this thing will end. I can. I can see it very clearly. How do you guys feel about saying goodbye to your characters? Because that's something that Ooh, I feel like I've just deep. started digesting and I'm like, I don't, deep like I, you have to, actually say mm -hmm. goodbye to these mm -hmm. people like they will no longer exist anymore. And you have to literally say goodbye because yeah. Rebecca really says goodbye. Yeah, yeah, says goodbye in these last couple episodes. That's mm. that's the I think I felt that honestly the most when I was writing, when I was co-writing on that episode because it felt like You co-wrote an episode? When I was co-writing, <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. On, I genuinely Flex. felt it Flex. because it felt like this is like her last, I don't know. It was sort of like a culmination of the story in that moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I remember before we even started starting to already feel this, mm. feel this ending starting to happen. Mm. And it was like, oh my gosh, you know? You really do feel like all the years, Yeah. you know? This gotta be really hard on you, honestly, because for you, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> suggesting that you like us, but, but the only time, the only time, the, yeah. the only time that you get to really spend time with all of us is in a setting like this. Is in a setting like yeah. this. I've had three scenes. Mm -hmm. It was the milkshake. We the did the cabin. Yeah. The, the, oh, the cabin, the milkshake. The, yes. The, yeah, yeah. The, the cabin, mushrooms. the milkshake. That's the mushrooms. The mushrooms. Oh, yeah. oh. Then we did with Randall 2.0 in the dream sequence. Yep. When with like, William. See your mom. Yep. And then like. For her wedding, I believe. Yep. It Where was like we, we were, were all, all standing in the thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, it is, it's, that's, I've been consistently saying that's the one heartbreaking thing for me is I don't get to share time with all of you on set. Mm. But you're always with us. Yeah, I know, mm. I know. Um, yeah. Yeah. We all carry you yeah. around. Yeah. 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 Well, you guys have time. You guys yes. have time. But for, but for him, this yeah. is this is the you know yeah. this is it. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, for for me, honestly, I I feel at times I'm like I'm just gonna sit and observe. I kind of dance on the periphery of when it's the group because you guys have so much collective time together. Yeah. That for me, I'm like I don't want to disturb. I'm just gonna watch, and be around it. You can come like in. no, I understand that, but it's no, also like but it's like but it's like dad. It's like group. dad. I, I'm shy, Sterl. You haven't learned that about me. I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people um, don't know that. She is shy. Yeah. Shy guy. No, no, no. Yeah. Really shy. But at the same time, like, it's always enjoyable. I think everybody 
has been has been watching, let's say, individual Instagrams or individual stories or interv in individual interviews, like everybody's wonderful. It's like such a wonderful group of people. So even to feel not quite on the inside jokes or like constantly like a little behind because I'm not always on set. It's also like, no, it's like to be around you guys is, is to know something lovely, so. Mm, thanks, Mike. Yeah. I said something like that the other day we were at the Paley Fest and I, yeah. I wanted to just express to everyone who doesn't get to spend time with all mm -hmm. of you yeah. that over the years, things have changed in our lives, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Almost in every way. Um, this show has allowed people to build families, to afford homes, Baby. to um, have financial stability. Uh, 81 cents. Recognition <laughs> comes with it. Um, you know, uh, professional success, all that, all that stuff, right? <laughs> Accolades, all that stuff. And then I said, but none of these people have changed. And I meant that. Mm -hmm. But the funny, the funny thing happened when I said that. Chris, Chris was sitting to the left of me. And I go, nobody up here has changed a bit. And I looked over and Chris was wearing the brightest <laughs> suit you've ever seen in your life. I mean, it was like, it looked like you were, looked like you were on fire. Yeah. And I was like, well, but, but he's But always, that was Sully's fashion. Been. That Listen, was always the one. Yeah. He never changed. Yeah. Just never as changed. bright. Yeah, <laughs> I think, in terms of saying goodbye to characters, like I think we'll say goodbye, but I think people will remind us. You know what I'm saying? People will see you and say, yeah. "You remember like season one or something? You were at some NASCAR event, and somebody just said, Manny! It happens still. And like, like not even Kevin, but like Manny! I'll be at the, I'll, I'll be at the Whole Foods, and I'm like, Sophia, which one of these bananas? You know, Manny! And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> mask, sunglasses, Manny. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah. That's hilarious. Nothing else. Nothing. No Kevin. No Kevin's? No Green Arrow. But I guess no, I just mean Manny. like yeah. saying goodbye to these characters, like yeah. never being these characters again. Like mm -hmm. doesn't that, it, to me, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to say goodbye. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Hair department let me keep the old man wig. Okay. <laughs> Change the name from John and Miguel. On? I look like Ursula. I have to show you the picture. Oh, you it's put my great. wig on? I mean, we hovered. We hovered. Oh, okay. okay. The yeah. Masako. You didn't put it on. I didn't put it on. I didn't put it on. Clearly, we really enjoy being with each other, which is yeah. like such a gift on top of everything else. Hallelujah. Yeah. I always look forward to being together. Okay. Well, how about this? You tell me your evil feeling, and I'll tell you mine. I hate that Shauna's doing so well. Okay, that is bad. I know, I know. There's a lot of laughter on the set. I feel like off, yeah, it would have to be offset, right? One of our children uh, passed gas uh -oh. on <laughs> camera. Uh, I don't even want to want to out who it was. <laughs> Just they passed gas and oh, wait, they I caught it on camera and they, they looked straight down the lens. <laughs> like, did I you remember. see that? And I was right there and I'm like, it's okay. It's all right, we'll just well, keep going. Little ones. Everyone little toots. Little ones. I'm just gonna say no. one of them. <laughs> yeah, the teenagers. Yeah. I remember. Not single them. Them. Okay. We've, had, no, we've no. had, not single them <laughs> out. Not, 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 embarrassing not single <laughs> them <laughs> out. It was one of them. I was, I was that was a really say, funny moment. Though. Guys, tell the truth. Sorry. That's, That's funny. funny. It was, it was Chris. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like laughing, crying from laughing. I mean, it happens a lot. I mean, I like. It's constant. Backstage is constant laughter. Yeah. And I don't know if we, it's just who we are as a group of people. We sort of just <laughs> enjoy each other and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I've said this before, like at Paley Fest and whatnot, when the show is as heavy as it is, people think we live in that the mm -hmm. whole time. We don't. Can't I don't think so. I think all. that would be you too yeah. difficult mm -hmm. to like just carry that kind of weight the whole time. So we do what we need to in order to release I've it. I've only right? had a couple, I've only had a few scenes with with Justin, yeah, and every single one of them ends with me in tears, <laughs> <laughs> trying to trying to hold in laughter because just Justin and I have the same mischievous <laughs> sense of humor. You do, yeah. and he has this spark Little in his smile. eye. He can be straight faced and laughing with his eyes <laughs> in a way that drives me. The up best the is wall. Crazy. the best is Chris will walk. <laughs> just even the other day, you walked around the, the yep. that counter in the kitchen, yeah, and he's supposed to walk up. And you know, we, we haven't seen each other in a while and it's it's awkward and whatever. And he's walking up being a gentleman. Yeah. And he walks up and he goes, uh, yep. well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so I'm not gonna be able to do this. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I can't say, but you are looking in my eyes. Right though. in your eyes. Right in my eyes. Yeah. Right in your eyes. You got a little cross eye. Uh -huh. Gone. That's, I mean, when we're known as the crying show, it always sort of takes me aback for a second. Cause I was like, yeah, no, it does elicit stuff. But as you were saying the other day, Chris, like, 
there's so much laughter in the show. Mm. And I don't think the tears would work if you didn't have that high of laughter and then sort of Dan and yeah. crew sort of pull the rug out. And yeah. I think people let, let the, the moments of, of pain and tears, even in their own lives, hijack the joy. Mm. Amen. And like you have these moments of hardship or whatever it is, and you forget all about yeah. the other 80% where, yeah. <laughs> where everyone is laughing and having a good time sure. and living in the moment. So we don't have a one moment, it's yeah. just culture. It's been six culture. years, culture. Six years yeah. of laughter, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe you should just stop thinking of your family as a square and start thinking of it as, you know, you, Nick, Franny, Triangle. The hell are you talking about right now, man? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I thought I was going to be having sex with your sister tonight. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> what do you mean, best crier? What, what it, like, does that mean, like, <laughs> on cue? Does that mean more? Does oh, that mean... Come on. Uh, yeah. I, I just need... Yeah, what's the criteria? criteria? What's the criteria? But, but here's the thing, Tell right? Me, so, so that... What are you crying about? Right, what are you crying about? And also... I'll give you something the, to cry about. All of our characters are so different, right? So... Mm -hmm. So when when Randall cries, Randall is an is is an emotional guy, and he when is. he cries, it it wrecks you because you know how you see how much Randall cares. He's just all heart, you yeah. know. When Jack cries, who you never you cries? lose it because oh. he never cries. Exactly. And you're you, man, you, man you of a different feel, era. Yeah. You man start to era. feel. Um, it's like when my mom and she's done it like three times in her life when she says. F yeah. And it's she, happened, and she doesn't curse, right? She never curses, never. Yeah. But she has like three times right. in her life, and, you just and that's the word of it's choice, impact. right? <laughs> it's very, it's it's very impactful. So I think it just depends. And then anytime you see, you know, when they put the age makeup on men, you see a, a, yeah. a, a woman who has raised adult children, who has lived a life, who has you know lost a husband, who is you know coming to the to the end of her life break down or remember things and, and cry tears of joy. It, it just, it rips your heart out. Yep. It just rips your heart. Sue, I mean, she's mm -hmm. such a strong, powerful woman all the time. And then to see her lose it, it makes you feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. right? Because you're like, well, if she lost it, yeah. How can I what do we have? Together, yeah. yeah. Brass yeah. taxes, mm -hmm. either Chrissy or Mandy, like Football they, they always make stuff. me cry every time in the scene. They're just like, the surface is, is immediately right there. But yeah, I think that's what you look, if I had to pick a person, it'd be mom and sister. Sister and mama, one of them two. One of them, one of them two girls from Florida. <laughs> from Florida, from Florida. You know what I'm saying? It's Rebecca. Um, so the kids are at a party tonight, and this apartment is horrible. I mean, I really can't be here right now. I can't. I can't be anywhere right now. But. Maybe there is one of those, uh... <laughs> those, um... <laughs> grief... Support... Group meetings... You're talking about, maybe there's one of those t tonight. <laughs> maybe you could come pick me up. There was a few different theories. I remember at a Paley Fest, they were asking us, like, how they thought Jack died. Somebody said house fire. Yeah, like one yeah, of them was yeah. house fire. Yeah, we like, I remember that. That's a good guess. <laughs> like, I'm not sure, but there's a few other ones out there too. What well, the technically, other he didn't die in the house fire. No, technically, no. he didn't right, die. Right. Asphyxiation after the fact. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. Uh, but Jack, Jack killed gosh. Jack. Yeah, had to be. What was it? Was that, that a Miguel, theory? That, that Miguel theory. killed that's Jack. That's dark. Well, yeah, oh, there was dark. a Miguel killed Or it was that that Miguel was responsible. <laughs> you start that one? I started that one. That Miguel was responsible for yeah. Jack's death. Oh, you started that Reddit? Wow. Yeah. Wow. You yeah. started a straight face one time and people run with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's sure? crazy. Yeah. There was yeah. a few yeah. other ones about that that I can't remember right now. I remember sometimes like people thought, <laughs> like right now, people don't know um, if Kate is alive. Is alive. In the present, in the pre uh, f future. Well, future no, time. now they do this after the last know? episode yeah. because yeah. she yes. and Toby were at right. Jack's so yeah. finally, finally, they do yes. know that mm -hmm. now, right? Mm -hmm. um, I remember in season three, they didn't know if we were going to make it, right? They thought I died. They thought you had died. My mm -hmm. wife was like, look, if Cookie and Lucius can make it, then y'all Negroes got to get it together, right? So I was like, all right. 
We gonna make it. Yeah. We made it. What was that? I did start that one too. You started that <laughs> one? Oh, well, I thought they wound up, like, did Randall wind up with Cookie? That was gonna be the crossover. That crossover episode. So yeah. And Lucius yeah. and Beth. <laughs> and Lucius would be like, hey, hey, hey baby. And Beth is like, that's too much for me. This theory is too much for me right now. <laughs> I know there's some good ones, but I can't remember. I can't. I can't think of anything. I feel like else. it was earlier days. Yeah, mm-hmm. less so now. Yeah. Yeah. But Miguel taking out Jack. That's dark. Mm. That's dark. That was dark. Yeah. Not I mean, true. Also not true. Not true. Not true. Mm-hmm. Not true. But it happens. well, not technically true. Right. <laughs> he took out Jack's wife. Oh. 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 Took her out to dinner. Nice date. Yeah. That's Wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> they have a scene when they're talking about when they uh, started getting together. Oh yeah. And you say like, um, what's the oh, word? Yeah. The term you use? Hook up? Oh hook yeah, up. we hooked up. We like, hooked oh, up. Yeah, 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 and the kids are like, hooked up? What you talking about? Like, what is that? And they're like, she's like, baby, I'll explain to you what hooked up means. She's like, what does it mean? And then uh, uh, Kate says like, have sex. She's like, oh no, we didn't do that. We just started doing that recently. We're like, oh <laughs> God, <laughs> oh yeah, Bob Miguel. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nasty, <laughs> nasty stuff. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Jack's like perfectly Jack's all right. Like, perfectly all right, man. Boy. That's my love boy. Me. And my girl. Yeah, Very my happy girl, for them. He loves them both. Hey, hey. Jack hey, loves them both. I've never felt at home anywhere. And if I'm being honest, the first time that I ever felt homesick in my life was when I left you on that porch. And I'm not really sure how to explain it. It's really nice to see you too. at a younger age have gone, we kept lobbying Dan to go on some family vacation. Mm-hmm. We're like, Hawaii, yeah. Grand Canyon. Yeah. Do, you remember, do, you remember the, do you remember the other one too where uh, Bachelorette Party was supposed to be at the Steelers game? Yeah, mm-hmm. we were supposed yeah. to go to Pittsburgh. Oh, I wish we had gone to Pittsburgh. To Pittsburgh. That's that right. Like some, some stuff at a Steelers game in the past and then present yep. with everyone. Kate and Toby still never got a honeymoon. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> Who had a honeymoon? Nobody no had, one nobody. had a honeymoon. They did. They just weren't seen. And yeah, they were nobody had one like that. Chatted and talked about. On, but on I camera. wish we could have gone to Puerto Rico for. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would have been good. Right. Yeah. That, so was, that was on the table. That was on yeah. the table for, for Miguel's episode. Basically, we just want to go on a trip. Wise, we decided <laughs> yeah. to simplify things. Because we went to Paso Robles right before that mm-hmm. episode. Yeah. Yeah. And we were going to go to New Orleans. For, That's right. Yeah. For the, my, my birth mom episode, and then in the middle of COVID, that got taken. You know, we had to Downside. improvise, figure out, yeah. figure mm-hmm. things out. That would have been cool. Of all um, these exotic destinations, we did go to Vietnam. Yes, we did. <laughs> right. Yes, we did. <laughs> How much yes, we did. Go to Vietnam. Vietnam was well, those uh, two made that. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those two went to Vietnam. I had one was episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One episode where like where Tobias bounce. where Tobias and Randall kind of got to bond over their uh, mental health mm-hmm. and how they were coping with that. It got truncated a little bit. Like I wish it would have had a, a fuller breath because yeah. I thought it was a pretty it's fun time. And we didn't get a chance to do a whole bunch together, right. but it was always fun when we did. We could have had a, had a scene yeah. where we went to do ayahuasca together or something. <gasps> Mm. We can still do that. That's the after show. We do that off camera. I mean, go, going in, I think we all understood what that first script was. We all saw it. We all read it. We all knew, had an idea of kind of where things were going. For the show to maintain the caliber mm. of creative, literally from like the first episode mm-hmm. until you know, I know we've all read the last episodes. It's incredible. You just yeah. you never get yeah. that. You never ever ever get that quality consistently all the way through. And it's not even the first one or the last one. It's like random, you know, mm-hmm. season five, episode nine. You're just yeah. kind of like, wait, this is this is wonderful. This is great. Yeah. But it, it really just hit home like the amount of creative consideration. Mm-hmm for the audience, yeah. for, for an audience to invest six years of their life in a story and to know that they are this well taken care of, mm-hmm. to, to know that the characters are going to be respected and honored and, and, and even if things don't end the way people want or on the happiest of notes, they are all treated with compassion and respect. And 
because the creative process has been so well thought out, the audience is also being treated with that same honor mm -hmm. and respect so that they know that their time is spent well with yeah, the, right. the Pearsons and the Damons and the Rivasuses. Riv yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, for me specifically, I didn't go in thinking that Kate was a singer or aspiring singer. She'd have a son or she'd get married. You know how the creative process just has unfolded and it's super cool to see. Obviously, Rebecca was a singer, Kate, and then now Jack being so wildly popular as a singer and sort of living in that world. I, I was it was a surprise to me. I didn't expect that to happen. And then, of course, I didn't expect Kate and Toby to like not make it. Mm. I knew somebody mm. wasn't going to. <laughs> I just didn't know it was going to be Kate mm. and Toby. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Like, how do you feel about it right now? I don't like it. You don't mm. like it? No, this is my dog. Yeah, this is my Chris. <laughs> it's like, I miss you, mm -hmm. you know? It's, yeah. This, this show has dealt with so many different aspects of, of human relationship, right? And and I, and I think what I've realized is I have, I have plenty of people in my life who have experienced divorce. Mm -hmm. And there's still a good amount of societal shame or, mm. or, stigma. or stigma around yeah. it. This feeling of whatever it is, whatever the feeling is. Yeah. But to, to be tasked with, again, handling that, that plot line with compassion yeah. and, and to, to be able to show the mistakes and to show how they did it well and they, they treated each other with respect and love and, and able managed, to co able to co-parent yeah. and all of these things. And, and to, to play that all the way through was, you know, again, is another, another big responsibility. It was beautifully executed. I know it, 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 it hurts. I remember talking to you like at the beginning of the season and she knew that they were getting divorced and she's like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah. And I don't think you're supposed to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like as a yeah. character, like yeah. nobody likes it, but like the way that it was depicted was just, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gut wrenching and beautiful at the mm -hmm. same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I'll say this: like I, I knew, like Maya was saying earlier, that like I think we have a good show, especially from the pilot. And then as the script started to come in, I was like, this is turning from just a good pilot to a good show. You never know when you're gonna like capture zeitgeist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where like the people who are watching it think that it's as good as like you think that it is, and sort of like keep it like to be able to have been number one. Four, six years, you can't call that. Like, that's just like, it's lightning in the bottle. Yes, it is. You know, so that's and that, pretty cool. And that is, that is our, our, that's Dan Fogelman and all of our writers, come and gone. All, the, yes. all of them yes. laying their, coming into the writer's room and laying their lives yeah. on the table for all of us to play out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like, I know we've all talked about, uh, there have been lines in this in in, in our screen that have happened in my life. Yes. That's yeah. as if someone's been spying in my home. Totally. And yeah. and it and it feels it feels so close to home. And 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 that's because the writers were willing to be that vulnerable with each other Absolutely. and then with us, yeah. so that we can take all of these life experiences and, and put them on screen. Mm. I want them to know their dad sees greatness in them. I will kill myself to make them feel that way. Even when, even when deep down, I just want to hold my kid and, and tell him to go take a nap. I feel sorry for your dad. Yeah? Yeah. To have had a son like you and to have not seen what was right in front of him. <laughs> yeah. You really saw them high five. Oh, yeah. You sure they weren't just like trying to smack each other in the face? Like at the same time? No. We've journeyed so much with every single character individually, and then every single character kind of collectively and in different groups and different blocks. But the end is just beautiful and full. It feels complete. It feels like there's no more room for anything else, nor does it need anything else. It's just yeah. full. But it's very simple, too. Yeah. I love, like, it. there's, like, an elegance to its there. simplicity. Yeah. yeah. Dan ended it just as beautifully as he started it, which mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. so much, you know? Like, he, he, he didn't sort of make it into something new in order to end it. Mm. And, like, it had to feel spectacular, mm. you know? Mm. It was just, like the same beauty that it, he brought it in with, he took it out with, and it feels like we have really followed these people on a real journey 
that didn't have to necessarily be tied up with a bow, but just that we got to kind of see them live their life out. Mm -hmm. and that's how you feel that the ending leaves you. He had been telling people from the beginning that how many seasons he wanted to do or whatnot. And then you get a chance to actually witness sort of the purposefulness of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this sort of the boyhood element, like the <laughs> link letter joint, like where you scenes from years ago that were shot and saved mm -hmm. for now to be used. And you're like, how did he get that shot? Because he told y'all yeah, five years ago, we got <laughs> six seasons. I got to shoot this now. Because these kids, you got to get Walt off the island. Walt gets big. You can't keep, you got to shoot Walt out right now so you can put him back on there. And you're like, you son of a gun. Like, he was for real. He wasn't making it up. Like, he's no, like, this yeah. is how we're going to do it. And when you watch, he's like, God damn, you fuck on You know what? I had a convers quick conversation with him the other day, and I told him that the pilot, much like what you said, I think the pilot is the most beautiful, best, it's the best pilot I've ever read, and it's yeah. one of the best, if not the best, uh, episode of television I've ever read until I read 17 and 18. And I think they're better. Wow. I think they might be better. I think because you know more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's richer. They're yeah. really good. They're really, yep. they're really good. Guys, they're really good. They are. <laughs> it's nice. This has been Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table with the cast of This Is Us. Be sure to check out our series finale on May 24th. <laughs>